Hi all. Um, so this video is about Lewis dot structures. And again, this is a way of showing how molecules are held together. Uh, in particular, the five problems that you had in the previous lesson, we're going to review here, okay? So remember, when you do a Lewis dot structure, you want to look at your formula. In the first one, we have methane, CH4, and we count up how many atoms of each element and how many valence electrons each one has. So carbon has four valence electrons. If you do the, the count over trick with the periodic table, when you count over, carbon is four places over with regard to valence electrons. One, two, three, four. We also have four hydrogens in the formula, and each hydrogen has one valence electron. Okay, so again, when these atoms bond together, uh, they're going to bond in a way where these valence electrons will hold them together. Okay, um, carbon has four, each hydrogen has one. Okay, and the rules here, each element needs to have an octet of electrons, whether they're shared or held only by that specific atom. Um, and those can be shared electrons that count toward the eight electrons. Hydrogen only needs two electrons. Okay, so in this first example, we'll take the carbon and put it in the middle. If carbon is present, typically carbon likes to go in the middle. Hydrogens usually like to go around the outside. So there's one hydrogen. Okay, and then the other thing that happens then, we'll take that hydrogen's electron and put it between the H and the C. So you can see here that the hydrogen, this hydrogen, and this carbon are sharing two electrons. That makes what's known as a single bond, okay? A single bond because it's sharing one pair of electrons, okay? The next hydrogen we'll put here, and we'll do the same thing with its electron. Third goes here, and the fourth goes here, so in methane, the hydrogens are arranged around the carbon. And then we'll do the same with the electrons. There and there. So this is the Lewis dot structure for methane. Carbon is in the middle, surrounded by hydrogens. And there's a single bond between each hydrogen and the carbon. A single bond being two electrons. Got um, if you look at for, for octets here, carbon, two, four, six, eight, it has eight electrons. And each hydrogen has two. Two, this one has two, this one has two, and this one also has two. And those electrons are holding together this molecule. So that's methane. Here's the next one. Um, hold on, I'll take Okay, so much better. So C2H6 is ethane, um, which is two carbons and six hydrogens, where each carbon again has four valence electrons, and each hydrogen has one valence electron. Okay, uh, another way you can do this is to tally the number of valence electrons, and as you use them up, just keep track of that until you run out, okay? So in this combination, you, would have, you have a total of 14 valence electrons, okay? Eight and six is 14. So what we'll do here is that we'll put the carbons in the middle and we'll connect them with a single bond to start. And that uses up eight of our 14 valence electrons, okay? So next then, we'll arrange the hydrogens around the carbon, around the carbon atoms. And with many alkanes like ethane, um, that's often how they're structured. Okay, there you are. So the hydrogens are arranged around the carbons. Okay, where you know this hydrogen's connected here, this one's connected here, etc. So the next step is to make our proper single bond where each one has two electrons. So we'll take all these electrons up here and do just that. So we moved one into here, 
added one here, added one here. So for this left half sign of the molecule, this carbon now has an octet, two, four, six, eight valence electrons. In each hydrogen, this one, this one, and this one, each have two valence electrons. Remember, hydrogen's an exception. It wants two, not eight. Let's place the rest of these. So one goes here, single bond. Another one goes here. And the last one goes here. So now we've used up all the valence electrons. And our carbons each have an octet. And the hydrogens each have two valence electrons. And remember, even if the atom is sharing an electron, it still counts toward its octet. These two car electrons in the middle count for this carbon and for this carbon. So ethane, that's your Lewis dot structure. Got it. Let's look at three more. Oxygen, O2, which oxygen in the atmosphere is in this form. We have two oxygen atoms, and they each have six valence electrons. Got it. Um, and they want an octet. So to become stable, oxygen likes to bond with things, including with itself. So we'll start by moving this atom down below, and the other one we'll put next to it. Got it. So if you look here, we have a single bond, two electrons. However, the oxygens, neither of them, has an octet. This oxygen on the left, two, four, six, seven. This oxygen on the right, two, four, six, seven. They have seven, not eight, valence electrons. That doesn't work. Uh, the atoms aren't going to be stable. So what happens, take, we're going to take these electrons and move them into the space between the atoms to make another bond, like this. Okay. So now we have four electrons between the two oxygens. That's called a double bond, double two, because it's two pair of electron. Got okay. two pairs of electrons. So that's a double bond, four electrons. And each of these atoms has eight valence electrons, two, four, six, eight for the left, and two, four, six, eight for the right. Okay. So for oxygen, O2, that's your Lewis dot structure. Okay. Two more. CO2, no, hold on, let's take a pause there. Much better. Okay, CO, carbon monoxide, which is produced by car engines, has an oxygen and a carbon. Oxygen again has six valence electrons, carbon has four. So we're going to start by putting these next to each other, like so. And we have a single bond between the oxygen and the carbon, with these two electrons being shared. Got okay. The issue again is the octet. Oxygen right now only has seven, and carbon only has five. Okay. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take two of our electrons and put them in the space between the oxygen and the carbon. Okay, and again, remember, we're not adding extra electrons. We're just moving electrons that are already there so that they're between the two atoms, like this. So we're almost there. Oxygen is good. Two, four, six, eight. The carbon, however, is not satisfied. Um, so we'll do that. We took a pair of, from the oxygen and moved them into the bond. So we moved not just you know two extras, but four extras for a total of six electrons between the oxygen and the carbon. So for the oxygen, two, four, six, eight, it has the octet. Same for the carbon, two, four, six that are shared, plus two is eight. This is known as a triple bond. In terms of covalent bonding, it's the largest bond you can have, a triple bond between atoms. Got it. Um, and this bond holds together carbon and oxygen and carbon monoxide. Got it. So that's your Lewis dot structure for that molecule. 
uh, with a total still of 10 valence electrons. One more, N2 nitrogen, which happens to be 78% of the atmosphere. When you breathe in air, only about 19% of that air is oxygen, 78% of it is nitrogen. That's just the way it is. Um, yeah, it's our atmosphere. So, so nitrogen has five valence electrons, okay? So we have two of them like this. Again, we're going to put them next to each other and start with a single bond, like so. And again, the issue, as you're probably thinking by now, hopefully, is the octet deal, okay? Each nitrogen at this point only has six valence electrons. Okay, the one on the left here, two, four, five, six, and the same on the right. So we're going to start by taking two of these electrons and putting them between the nitrogens, like so. So we're closer, but we still don't have octets. Okay. Um, you know, this nitrogen's good with eight. The one on the right is not. So we're going to take these two additional electrons and we'll do the same thing. We'll put them between the atoms as part of the bond, okay? So much like carbon monoxide, the previous one, this one is also, sorry, a triple bond. Two, four, six, six electrons, three pair of electrons, which make this a triple bond, okay? And each nitrogen, two, four, six, eight, octet. Over on the right, two, four, six, eight, sorry, eight electrons, valence electrons, okay? So those are Lewis, Lewis dot structures. And again, the idea there is to show how electrons hold together the atoms of a molecule, okay? In the next lesson, you'll take a look at how we can use these to determine the shape of a molecule, okay? All right, everybody, um, do your best, of course, and I'll see you later. All right, take care.